All right, we're going to look at installing SSH. Uh, SSH is good for networking. It lets you connect to other computers or um, yeah, just computers on your server or network area. Uh, you can also connect to computers outside, but that does some uh, advanced configuring with your ports and um, firewall. But we're just going to do the basic. So we're going to go to our terminal. Uh, I use Fluxbox, but just go to your terminal. Um, you open the terminal, you do uh, sudo apt get install uh, ssh and put in your password because it's login sudo and you type yes so it installs it. It's installing the packages. Now ssh is pretty straightforward. Uh, by the time it's done installing, that's pretty much all the configuration you need to do. Uh, to connect with another computer, I'll show you that in a second actually since it's done loading. Alright, so to test out SSH to see if it's working, you're going to go to your local host. So you do SSH space local host. And it will ask you for the authentication key. Um, you're going to type yes. Uh, that allows you to access your local host. And now you get to type in your password. Excuse me. To, uh, the account actually um, and it logs me in so now I'm logged in remotely to my own desktop even though I'm on my own desktop now this doesn't really seem like much but let's say you have another user uh, on your account or on your computer so here you can see it says trajectory let's say we have an account uh, let's just do root I can actually go SSH root at local host put in your root password and now I have access to root so if there's another account to say like Pace Linux I can actually log into Pace Linux through this terminal through SSH and do whatever I need to do on that side of the person's computer so let's look at what we have on my um, root see we have everything that you normally see uh, you have full access to it as well because it is root right now. Um, now let's say you wanted to uh, connect to another IP. Um, first you want to get out of this, type exit, 